couldn't get away from them. They played great, give them credit, they made big plays. Um, we, we didn't make some very smart plays uh, down the stretch of overtime, uh, and it, it really cost us. And some offensive rebounds where they didn't crush us, only 10, which was my worry. They got a couple really big ones in the overtime that that hurt us and eventually one that really, really got us. So give them credit, they made big plays. <clears throat> Mike, well, especially in overtime, you guys have been so good. What what didn't happen for this team as far as making plays, you know, making decisions? Well, you know, we're we're up three, we're up three, and you know that's when we go green and switch everything, and we don't want to give up a three. And um, you know, we talk about when a guy drives, just let him have a layup, let him cut it to one, and we'll get it back in and get fouled. And you know, we rotated over to take a charge, and then it became a three point play. You know, that was. As much as we work on our green defense, I thought we broke down a little bit. And what's the situation as far as rebounding? What can you do to, to kind of close that gap a little bit? You know, I mean, it's, you know, it's a little, it was, tonight wasn't as bad. It's just such key times where we, where we um, gave up second shots, just key times. Um, you know, and in a tough loss, I thought our bench did some good stuff. You know, Nick gave us good minutes, and DJ gave us good minutes, and Moody gave us good minutes, as we're still trying to figure out, you know, who comes off the bench for us. Coach, Austin hadn't played until 21 seconds yeah. left in the, in the game. What was the rationale in putting him in? Well, he is so good defensively, and he just really moves his feet. Um, you know, I, I just love him in there. We put him in there in game situations defensively. You know, back on the other end, he could get fouled like he did. And, um, you know, we have faith in him. I mean, he's, he's a defender, and he's a veteran guy who I thought would be good getting out on Hartman. You know, he, he's quick that way. You know, the problem is it comes to the other end of the floor, then, you know, he's in there offensively. And, but I, I still like him in game situations because he's so active defensively. And maybe we should have come back to him a little bit more. He would have helped us rebound uh, some key rebounds uh, down the stretch. In the second half, they seem to go smaller and just dump the ball in more time yeah. after time after time. Yeah, he beat us up. I mean, um, you know, I mean, he, uh, uh, you're worried about giving up a three eventually. You know, like we, we weren't helping much because I thought maybe we'd be, and it was ringing true for most of the game. I thought maybe you know, if we didn't give up threes, they wouldn't score enough. His jump hooks count too, and we could keep a little bit of a cushion. Um, but God, did he beat us up, and he was fabulous. Mike, what's your, uh, what would what's your take on Juwan Morgan? Not only how he played today, but the improvement he's, he's yeah, made. Yeah, he's made great strides. Archie's done an unbelievable job with him. He's just a really confident young man. And um, they're just a tough group, man. They keep coming at your paint. They keep coming at your paint. The guards are driving. The big guys are banging around. They're, 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 they're I like them. And, and we were, you know, we were holding them off for most of the game. But, God, you got to get a couple, a couple more defensive rebounds and good blockouts um, to get out of there. But he's, he, you know, he's a confident young man right now. He was fabulous today. Yep. Thanks.